Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Overblood. When we last left off, we lost Peepo and got attacked by a mutant. Uh, buried our super sharp parent laser blade in his gullet, and uh, that was the end of him. So, kind of shit out of luck here. We found lots of dead bodies, and there appears to be somebody running around somewhere. Ooh, hello. But we do have Peepo's memory chip with us. Right, what's all this nonsense here? Must be the switch for the lift. Okay, well, then we'll push the... Ah. Okay, that's a very jank lift. Uh, why is it vibrating? Is it broken? Okay, they're actually going to cover that. <laughs> <laughs> whilst Raz just fucking pieces out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alright, so I guess the lift is broken to some capacity. Oh! Oh, we can jump down! Oh, how very fancy. That's kind of cool. Well, okay. So there's the switch for the lift. Is there any other goodies in here? I mean, it doesn't appear that we're going to get weapons or anything. But that's fine. So, what can we push around? I'm guessing we need to. We push this? No. <sighs> I mean, that capsule is actually empty, isn't it? We can't seem to jump up here. Okay, maybe there's nothing we can do here yet. Okay, I don't know how that works. Why is it vibrating? Is it bo uh, broken? I don't know. It does that matter? It seems to work, I guess. Uh, there seems to be a hell of... Ooh, what the hell is that? This thing is floating. I wonder what it's used for. It looks like some kind of like tram car or something. Can't push it. A lot of anti-grav stuff. Ooh, God. Anti-gravity stuff going on here. Whoa, okay. Can we get up here? Hmm, I don't think so. This way's blocked off. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like some kind of cargo transporter thing. Uh, can we action button our way out of this? Oh, what was that? We might be able to break through here. Uh, well, one, who's we? And B, maybe, but with what? Okay, break through there. We're going to need something with a decent amount of force, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're going to need to come back here later on. Can we use... Can we get up here? Nope. Can't push it, can't jump. Alright, well, fine. So we have like a, a tram room then, I guess. Surprised that we can't manipulate this in some way. This thing's floating, yeah. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to come back here. A little bit later. The music's... I mean, it's atmospheric, I guess. It's very sparse. I guess it's doing the job. Now, was... There's no doors down there. Ah. 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 Okay. Ooh. Oh, good God. Now we've got to duck walk our ass all the way through here. Looks, I swear he just looks like he's got a load in his pants. Can we speed this up? We can. I like the way he's got his finger pistols out. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Raz. Oh, okay, it's a dead end. <laughs> finger pistols all the way. <laughs> you know, I kind of like this guy. He's funny. Alright, come on. Guess we're going to go down the hall. 
And is there still multiple ways to go? No. Okay. Alright. Oh, don't you love emulation? You just speed this shit up. Oh. I'm coming! I'm coming! I don't know who you are, but I'm coming! I think. Right. Onwards. You could hear a voice on the other side. Well, let's go, I guess. Hero Raz is... Oh, dear. A monster. Oh, it noticed me with my finger pistols. It's going to attack. Uh, right, well, we don't really have any weaponry. And... Oh, God, that... Right, that... Is it a cat? What? Oh, we can attack. Are you fucking serious? Ah, oh, there we go. There's some badass razzery. Yeah, kick you in the balls, monster. Get fucked. That's what I'm talking about. Is there any other moves we got? Uh, we seem to be... We kicked that thing's ass. With our fucking finger pistols, man. Alright, that's that. Yeah, that's... Uh, what you put... Yeah, okay, you don't need to flip him off. You can teabag him, though, if it, if it makes you feel better. Teabag the bastard. Alright. So now, before we go check on our female friend over there, let's go see if there's any goodies. Oh! Broken thermostat, I guess. That could be useful. It's like everything in this place broken. Uh, this device is used to cool or heat samples. It's broken. And will now only heat samples. Alright, well that's fine. Silver key found. What is this key for? I don't know. What's interesting about this is it doesn't tell you... Or you can't actually see items. You just have to search everything. A tool for chemical experiments. It's not very useful to me. Alright. Uh, hey, love. Are you, you okay? Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Thank goodness I found you. What? What happened? No, stay away. Uh. Oh. I thought you were that thing. I can't tell you how relieved I am. I'm so glad to find another person. My name is Raz Carsey. Millie Azray. Nice to meet you. Well, that was painless enough. She didn't run away screaming or anything. So, is your memory gone too? I can't remember anything. That's convenient. And we really are in the same predicament. So it would seem. We'll just have to get out of it together then. Sure, you and me. There's just one thing. It, it seems I have some sort of infection. Infection? I keep that quiet. What kind of infection? I'm afraid I may turn into one of those creatures. We'll get you help. Don't worry. But you must promise me. If any infection takes over, you must do what you can to get away from me. Do you understand? Don't talk that way. <laughs> we'll get help before it comes to that. I, I like promise. the romantic music. Help? We can't expect any help. We're on our own. Then what do you say? Let's get going. I like her attitude. What's that? That? Uh, I'm not sure. I... I found it before. I don't know. It says ARNA virus. This could hold the answer to what's happening to me, don't you think? Uh, well, where did that come from? We have a capsule. So, we've got ourselves a silver key. This is a key to a high security style lock. Alright. Hmm. Capsule. Labeled Arna virus. This uh, this is 
Machine sealed and cannot be opened. Ooh. So, did I have that or did Millie have that? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. All right, Millie. Well, it looks like me and you are broskies for now. Uh, we have some kind of weird virus, apparently. Millie doesn't seem to be too concerned. Although, you know, Raz is concerned for Millie's safety, which is interesting. Nice bit of love music they piped in over their conversation. So, Millie is another survivor who doesn't really know... What, oh, where she's come from. Hey, oh, Millie, this was my friend, Peepo. Yeah, he's dead now. I'm so sorry, Peepo. This is because of me. Yeah, it is, but, you know, we also gave him, like, a little bit of life. Uh, which he wouldn't have had. Oh, look, Millie flips people off, too. Okay, so... Let's get out of here. It looks like your other player character just gets caught on everything. Which is what it is, I suppose. Right. I like the combat sequences. You can really kick an ass or two. I approve of that. At least we're not on our own anymore. And at least we have a human with us. You know. I mean, robots are cool. But if I was lost and isolated alone, I would probably prefer to have a human. Maybe. There's nothing really down there, is there, that we could play with. Uh, okay. Raz, Millie, let's go through here. Can we now, like, smash this open or something? Maybe if we both push... Uh, Raz doesn't get the whole pushing thing. Okay. Alright. Can we give each other, like, a hand up here or something? It's a big crack. I wonder if it'll break. That's not very nice. Shouldn't be talking about each other's cracks like that. We might be able to break through here. Hmm. I guess we need some kind of explosive. Ways blocked off. All right, well, <sighs> Millie, out the way. All right, so there's got to be some kind of way that we can get through here. Uh, we could... There was that other door, wasn't there? Yeah, there was that other door in that room that we just came through. All right, let's go back. I'm sure, because I know we came through the roof. But though, yes, I think. Okay, well, let's go check that other room back out. Oh, we can heat samples up. Uh, I guess it doesn't really work like that. I guess we can't combine items. Okay, that's fine. So you find a thing and you have to find another thing to use it on. You don't combine things into your, in your inventory, I guess. Which is, yeah, I don't mind that. So there's that valve that we twiddled with earlier. Still not 100% sure what that did. Peepo's rusty corpse. Now what was in here? Oh no, there isn't any. There isn't anything else. Nothing here. So I wonder if there's any supplies tucked away. Okay. Yeah, don't flip all that off. Was there something in that elevator room that we can do? I'm guessing we need to find maybe some kind of explosive... Be Ooh, we've got the hot plate thing, haven't we? I wonder if we can find something that's going to violently react to explode. But we don't know what that does. We don't know what that does either. Uh, would you want to open it or close it? I mean, let's close the valve. But it was open though. Yeah, let's open the valve. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It was closed when we got here and we can fiddle with it, so I would assume we need to open it. 
But as we don't really know what it's for and what it does, maybe it was unwise to touch it. I'm not sure. I like touching things, you know? Uh, okay, so let's go back into the elevator room. There must be something we can pick up. There has to be some kind of chemical that's going to combust. That's my theory. Now. Come on, Millie. Let's go. Right. We don't know why it's vibrating. And I'm not sure that's that important. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Yeah, the game's uh, hit detection is terrible. Can't be opened without... Oh, can't be opened without the key. That's interesting. Didn't even look like something that could be locked, to be honest. Um, a sample case found. Take it. Right. Warning. Avoid heat and shock. This fluid explodes when heated or shaken. Handle with care. Right. Well, that's a problem because we have a rather shaky lift. So we have an explosive. Have I'm not sure, but it's nasty stuff. Be careful with it. Yeah, don't shake it on a lift or something. All right. Well. Uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm stuck in the corner. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Right, we're stuck, but we've got to crab walk out of that corner because we were stuck in it. Uh, lovely. Uh, now, I'm, how do we get back up there then? Because I'm going to... If I do that, it might be dangerous to ride this shaky... Okay. I wonder if we can repair this lift. Can we repair this? The lift is too shaky to ride. The sample case will explode. What should we do? Oh, we can jump, okay. Okay. Too shaky to ride. Uh, can we? It doesn't look like we can actually do anything with this. Ah! Okay, what should we do? So... Millie... Hmm... I'm guessing we can't just throw things to each other because that would also make things go boom. Could we make... Could we climb up on that, maybe? Could we push this? Because this stands out. I guess not. Alright. Uh, I guess... And we can't repair it, can we? We can't appear to actually interact with this thing at all. What should we do? We need the explosive. Um, and there's nothing... Ah, can we use something on this to make it not as shaky? Item has no effect. Uh, will explode. Okay. So we can't actually do anything with that. A large empty crate. That we can't jump on. Okay. You would have thought we'd be able to like give each other a lift up or something. But nope. Ah, wait, hang on. Hang on. 
Hold, oh no. We can't get on this though, can we? Because as soon as we get on this, it's going to explode. And as soon as we get on it, it starts moving. Um... Right. <laughs> Boom, baby. Oh, that was... That was pretty cool. Okay. You are dead. I approve. Uh, Righty-tighty. Can we, like, put this back until... Nothing here. There was another vial there, though. So we... We need something. Because we can't just take one of them onto that elevator. Because the whole thing explodes. Uh, can we push anything here? We must be able to push something. There's no mention of repairing anything. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Okay, this may be useful later, so we've got some oil. See, you got a duck walk again, guys. Got a duck walk. I guess we... Some kind of device. This thing is no use. So to actually examine these things, we have to... Duck down. So we have to... Make like we... Shit ourselves. Uh, one second, guys. I have to take a phone call. Okay. And we're back. Right, I can't remember what we are doing. I just had a phone call from my brother. Um, right, oil and lift, I think. Yes. So let yeah, ah, yes, right, yeah. We were trying to find out whether we can actually search any more of this stuff. Because apparently you can't do anything unless you duck walk. And if you duck walk, you can find shit. There's something down there. Oh. Emergency spray found. Like a first aid spray. Uh, fast acting medicine. This may be useful if another monster appears. Um. Okay. Nothing here. Emergency medicine, but this is a fast acting first aid device. Simply apply to wound. Oh, <coughs> in brackets, it actually tells us how many we have. We have one. Okay. Curious. Right, let's see if we can sort this bloody lift out now. Um, now this video is going to be three parts. I'm not entirely sure how long each part was. So... Why is this vibrating? Is it broken? Well, it's not broken, but apparently it needs a gallon of oil because we have this oil drum thing. Oil can. Holds oil that is l used to lubricate machinery. There we go. Is she smooth as silk now? It's still apparently vibrating. Did we not apply it? Okay. Lift's too shaky to ride. <clears throat> ah, okay. That's... Fucking hell. Loading that stuff on. Jesus. Applied oil to the lift cylinder. That should... Sh Stop the lift from shaking. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, he literally doused it in oil. Jesus. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is a smooth action. Holy shit. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Look at that. Well, I guess everything you need is just, you know, only a couple meters away.
So we found oil and a first aid thing. Which is interesting. I don't even know if... I mean, we seem to have a health bar when we're in combat. We might be able to break through here. So I'm guessing... We need to use that. Place broken thermostat. Okay. This could horribly go wrong. So we're going to use save states. Because, yes... I mean, we can save this game wherever we want anyway, as your save states are more convenient. Contains a volatile fluid that will explode if shaken or heated. Yeah, as it says, as he's like literally tumbling it around in his hand. Oof. Set sample case on the broken thermostat. Activated. Temperature rising. Let's move. It's going to explode! Run! Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Let's go. Let's go. No time to fuck around. Do we have to get out of the room? Nope. I think that's Nasty stuff. You good are kidding. enough. Come on, that's our way out. Okay, Millie. Cool. We've made our way out. Or have we? I do like the music. It's atmospheric. It's it's subtle, but it's there, you know? Alright, cool. So there's another one of those floaty McFloat things. Where does this lead? Oh. Oh, good. Run! Although, maybe not like that. Uh, okay, well, let's do the thing with the thing then. Ah, uh, god damn it. Instant death in video games, eh? Hey? You know, I don't mind that. It gives it an old um, point, uh, point and click kind of feel. To be honest. Uh, okay, at least we only have to go down here. It's going to explode! Run, Barry Burton! I don't think Millie really has a Resident Evil counterpart. Okay, so let's go. Come on. Up the hole. Up the hole. Get up the hole. And onto the track. Anyway, my friends. We're going to leave it there. Uh, we're going to start a new fresh video because we really need to tie this one off because it's becoming fractured and uh, fragmented. So, when we come back, <clears throat> we're going to try and survive... <laughs> Uh, somehow. I mean, hey, we've got a first aid spray, right? Yay? Cool. Uh, hmm. Okay, three videos in. Am I still enjoying this game? Um, yes, actually. I really am quite enjoying this game. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.